Good morning, everyone. Dennis 78382, 320 AM, 81 degrees. Uh, woke up probably about two hours ago. Uh, stomach cramps. Had to make a mad uh, short drive and a dash to the Walmart restroom. And I made it, folks. Uh, no soil clothes or nothing this time. I'm a big boy. But, um... Sometimes uh, living out of the truck's not fun. And it is hours like this that is not fun. Um, I'm, uh... Just sitting in the truck on the side of Walmart. Probably going to sleep here tonight just in case uh, something does happen. You know, if I need to use the restroom again. or. But uh, you can see that's kind of where all the trucks park at night. So it's kind of loud here all night. Uh, but uh, it is what it is, and I'm okay. And there's going to be like moments like uh, this in life, and things could be worse. I was reading, um, <clears throat> I did the video on that accident earlier, and uh, some major injuries and one fatality. And uh, when the, there's an accident, they're usually pretty quick about getting everything to the side of the road and uh you know getting traffic moving but when traffic stops like that for a few hours i'm sure there's a protocol when someone uh, has passed away just to you know review the scene and photograph everything and just just to make sure that everything is documented but um that's horrible i i really pray for those families and the person that lost their life it's a horrible thing to go through <clears throat> slow down everyone quit I don't know what the circumstances were but you know the speed limit on the bridge is 55 I see people going through there 80 90 miles an hour like daily as I go back and forth there to work also that North Beach area that I go to a lot I was there a couple times tonight to drop uh, restaurants off it's where like Fajitaville is that indoor outdoor bar that I've done videos from and where the uh, aquarium is and where the Lexington is. Uh, there was a uh, fatal shooting in that area about 10 p.m. And I guess I had last gone there about 7.30 p.m. And then uh, couldn't get back over to this side of the bridge for a while. Wound up picking up a regular on the other side of the bridge and driving all the way around the channel, which is like a 40 minute drive to get him home. And uh, that actually worked out well for me as far as if I was stuck on the other side, at least I made some money out of it. So I have made my minimum for the week and I still have tomorrow left and I took Monday off, but I did make, you know, uh, my minimum for the week would be 700 and I made that. And I don't know how motivated I am to uh, work tomorrow, but uh, we'll see what kind of day it is, see what happens and hopefully I'm going to go in the back of the truck soon and at least get a couple hours uh, to sleep. It'll be late in about three hours. So, I'm tired. I'm old. I need some sleep, guys. But uh, I'm going to stay in the front of the truck to let the air run for a little bit. And uh, see what the next half hour brings. But Dennis78382, I'm okay. Um... Sometimes I tell myself that, and I agree with myself. I'm okay. And I uh, hope you all have a good night. Get some rest.